Hello, welcome back. Last time I did all of day eight, which included playing Pumpkinhead Guy with the band and also going to the library with B. I'm gonna get the dream out of the way right now real quick. Um, looking at it, I'm surprised that I've averaged very nearly one day per episode, so I guess I'm getting things done pretty quick. I am skipping a bunch of stuff that's all the same between editions, but I do want to see the new stuff. All right, Astral Fish is this dream, and this is the final uh, dream with the Deep Hollow Hollerers, I believe. Uh, I've reviewed a whole bunch more stuff since the last time I recorded, so I'm more familiar with what's coming up now. All right, what is that, a tuba, I think? I'm not super well versed in musical instruments, but I think that's what I, that that would be identified as. Hey, B, or somebody shaped kind of like B. Somewhere around here, there's a big fish floating around. Uh, I'm gonna go to the right. This silhouette has shown up in some of May's other dreams. There's that fish. Hi, fish. <laughs> don't know why it's there. Don't know what it means. It's never explained that I ever saw. <laughs> it's just a thing she dreams about. There's one. Okay, where I go now? Here's one. The answer was straight up. So now that I'm up here, one more musician to find, then I know where the thingy is. But there are no lights around to show me where to go. Okay, last one's way over to the left. Back to the right and up. And dream will be over. Again, these dreams are pretty cool. They're very atmospheric the first time, but it's just a little bit too much walking around for a second playthrough, I find. So I just kind of want to get through them quickly because I know what's going on. In the morning, I will get the chance to talk to Sadie and Salim, the two musicians in town who know about the Deep Hollow Hollerers. Uh, I won't get the lore behind them right away, but uh, I at least get to meet the characters who will tell me about them. This is a cool and just kind of weird plot point <laughs> that could be said about a lot of stuff in this game. Alright, towers are somewhere. This will tell me. I think it's actually right here. Yeah. Now I have an encounter with... Right, big fish gets even eaten by a big bird. So a fair bit of stuff happens on day 9, including the thing that I was unable to record the first time. Uh, I can do the second hangout with Germ. Let's see, what else is going on? There's a bunch of stuff. Light bulb smashing was available at the Snack Falcon. I'm assuming that's just if I missed it the first time, but it'll be interesting to see what Greg says to me. First thing I want to do is make sure I'm recording, yes. Second thing I want to do is uh, go talk to Germ. Oh, what about Pumpkinhead Guy? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I want to work on that. All right, give me a moment. Last night inspired me. For longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Cool. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. What does a tire taste like? Hmm. <laughs> I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. <laughs> Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. <laughs> <laughs> Rising sea levels will increase shark attack frequency for obvious reasons. Right, Pumpkinhead Guy. At some point I need to play Demon Tower. I might save that for a bit later, but I want to do Pumpkinhead Guy now. Let's get this done. Let's see what it looks like when May plays by herself. Hold on, do I have... TikTok? Excuse me, there's a new song here. Hold on. Ah yes, TikTok. That terrible charity parody song about telling time. Punched up the lyrics a bit with Greg back in high school. Let's see if I can remember all the words. Oh, man. So now I want to pay attention to the, bur uh, the, the birds, the words. But that's hard to do when I'm paying attention to this stuff. I'll just have to read them later.
I got two misses. I think that's... I think I can get away with one miss and still get a perfect score, basically. But two is too many. That's my impression, at least. Oh, that's hard. When I'm not ready for it, at least. Oops. Oops. Ah! That part. This seems long. Finally. <laughs> that was really long. <laughs> uh, not bad considering I don't know how to play this song. <laughs> okay. Uh, how the hell did you draw a space dragon? Charity Barity is a nightmarity. <laughs> okay. So that doesn't bode super well for my attempt at Pumpkinhead guy here, but uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to do it a few times until I get it, I think. Well, that one didn't go too well. I literally do not know this song. I'm going to try like once or twice. Oh, she only does... Okay, I can only do it twice in a day. That's interesting. I have limited attempts. Okay, well, that was my attempt at Pumpkinhead Guy. I probably won't include that whole thing. I messed up a bunch. It wasn't that interesting. Okay, but there was a new song. All right, so thing is, I'm going to have to do that twice every day. <laughs> <laughs> if I need that many attempts until I get it. Okay, so now I know those are those are limited. Maybe they'll be unlimited on the final day. I hope so. Uh, but I don't know if they will be. <laughs> Alright, cool. I learned a lot of new stuff. Uh, right, boxes. Not moved yet. Okay, so day nine. What's going on? Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kinda working, kinda not. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I mean more than the ten hours or so you already get. <laughs> You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? I get the impression she sleeps more than ten hours a night. Because she, like, gets up in the afternoon and goes to sleep right after it gets dark or so. Nah, she's out at night a fair bit. I guess she's out pretty late. Getting out makes me feel better. Good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Right, so there's actually an activity I can do with her. Uh, yeah. So we can go to Jenny's field and do some things. Eels! Oh man, those are coming back up again. <laughs> Boy, that was, weirdly enough, that... The eel thing was one of the most impactful decisions that I've made in this playthrough. <laughs> you know, in terms of, like, dialogue changes and stuff. Um, okay, yeah, construction is gone. Uh, other than, you know, like, getting to go with, with different friends to different activities. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting it to the farm life. The problem with farms is the amount of poop. 
Even if, like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. <laughs> so there was never very much out here other than the one activity with germ that I'm about to do that takes place right here. I can sit and look. Mint! Was that graffiti there before? I never noticed. It's fairly faint. It's right down here in case video encoding has eaten it. Because, <laughs> yeah, all the graffiti in this game seems to be written very faintly. And, uh... Video encoding does not make it stand out very well. A few miles, you go into the highway, rolling fields and farms. Yeah, okay. Cool. Weird that town ends like, bam, right here. There's a, like a line somewhere that no one can see, but you can put it on map. <laughs> okay, uh, let me go wander around town for a bit, and I'll be back here shortly with Germ. Hey! There's a person up here! I don't always come up this way. I hope this isn't something that I missed on previous days. Well, hi there. I don't think it is. Hey, little girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she is little, though. <laughs> Who are you? Liz. I used to live here. Where? This building right here, before you were born. Born. Why did you move away? Went to school. Wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? It's nice. Possum Springs is nice, too. I think it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, pretty all right. When I was a girl, about your... I'm 20. Height. <laughs> I used to lay awake at night, worried that statue would come to life and climb in my window. Oh, geez, that's spooky. You never want someone hanging around outside your window. Not magical evil statues, at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magic should get that close. I live in the attic. No one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. <laughs> These two get along pretty well. I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See ya. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, right, this was Arnold Applebaum, right? He's in my journal here as Ar Ar Arnold Stockerbaum. So this is B's apartment, right? The Applebaum, yeah, that's the one. Okay. Cool. I found something new. So up here on this roof, there's a violin player. Uh, his name is Salim. I'm going to avoid talking to him right now because I want to talk to Sadie, the saxophone player over in, um, on top of Greg's building first. Because I think the dialogue of these two affects each other, so I want to do them in the other order. The thing is, though, on a, on a later day, I'm pretty sure I heard Salim playing left the screen a couple of times, came back and he was gone, so I'm hoping he won't just be gone uh, if I do it in this order, but let's find out. Definitely gonna have to play this game a third time because there are just too many options to explore in just two. I wanna try doing like a, oh by the way, this is the top of the roof here. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna try doing like a, I guess what speedrunners would call a low percent run. Um, talk to nobody except the absolutely essential ones and just speed through every day and sort of see what happens there. Not sure I'll LP it though. Maybe stream that? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, so all the way up top here. Above the AOK, -okay, whatever. Down there. Uh, this door. Hella birds! <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Yep. Um, hello? Hello? I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Uh, what did I choose? Uh, exploring. Same way I found it. Did you know this is the only stage in town? Uh, that's not true. We just did a play at the hardware store. <laughs> we used the counter as a stage. <laughs> Okay, this is the only stage in town that's only a stage. Hmm. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you gonna, like, put on something here? No, I don't think anybody's gonna put it, be putting anything on here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound, infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town. <laughs> that, is, that it is. Uh -huh. Alright, that's all Sadie has to say, and there's a pentagram here. Now, for some reason, how is it? May records... She didn't record this one. 
When I played before, she recorded every pentagram she saw in her journal for some reason? Starting with that one. I guess that changed, or maybe, like, I have to look at it on a different day or something? Hmm. This was the day I came up here the first time, though. I can't stand on the stage. Only Sadie and eventually Salim can. Yeah, so there was a lot less dialogue there because I haven't talked to Salim. So let's talk to him and see if... See if May says anything about Sadie to him. While I'm up here, let's check the news. Since it's right down there. What's in the news? Yam shortage this Thanksgiving. Oh, geez, we need the yams. Better get them now before they're gone. There's going to be, like, yam riots. Because not enough yams. Worse reasons. <laughs> Actually, since I'm here, uh, let me go talk to Germ first and do his thingy. Uh, never told me why you were feeling down. Do I gotta tell you everything? Right. <laughs> These two are kind of friends. Yeah, they're decent friends. As good of friends as either of them has, I think. If that makes sense. I'm on top of the diner. So yeah, kind of going left to right today, apparently. Let's see, is anything else going? This is the part I could not review because I lost the footage first. Is there anything all the way left before I talk to him? Just fence. No prompt. Oh, there is a prompt. How did he get over this thing? I can't jump that. No way he could have. There's no hole. How did he do it? I mean, I guess he could really be a ghost. I think he's a ghost. Ugh. What's out there? I think I could have looked at the, that yesterday, but I just didn't. Germ! Let's hang out! Hey! Hey! What? Wanna hang out? I got plans later. Okay, well I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything. Yeah, sure! Hop on my bike! Really? Where is it? Tied up behind the food donkey. I guess you could, like, run behind. Okay, fine. You sure your bike's gonna be safe? Yeah, I don't think anyone's been in that shed for years. Sorry you fell off. <laughs> it's cool. I feel so alive. Scrapes are cool like that. I hit my head pretty hard. Did you hurt your brain? No, I got a thick skull. <laughs> That's true. That's cool. So what are we doing here? Do you trust me? Never thought about it before. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, Germ! Oh, jeez, dude. Hey! What the hell, man? Jump, it's fine! Oh, for real? <laughs> Whee! Uh, okay, so down. Ow! <laughs> I only get to see that animation, I think, once uh, once more in the game. That At the, uh, at the, the park at the beginning. Dude, you scared me to death! Why? You jump off big stuff all the time. I sure do. Yeah, but like, that's in town. Nice flat ground. Not like I can just go jumping off cliffs and whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot you grew up in town. So what are we doing down here? I come here a lot. Wanted to show you something. Uh, you hang out at a sewer pipe? I mean, not exclusively. I saw like ten rats down here once. Okay, that's pretty cool. Don't think there's anything to the right. <laughs> Incidentally, how do we get out of this place after we're done with this? I guess just climb the rocks. Lots of graffiti and stuff here. Just want to take a moment to look at it. Huh. Okay, so... I started coming down here a few months ago to, like, just hang. Okay. And I noticed... Oh, hey, Rabies. Ah! Rabies is my sewer friend. Its name is Rabies? His name is Rabies. His name is Rabies? I found him when they pulled that body out of here, after that big flood a few months ago. Oh, neat. He was sad and wet and hungry, so I bought him, brought him chips and ice cream. Sounds right. And I wanted the other possums to not pick on him, so I named him after something they're all afraid of. <laughs> this is the best story ever. He's so rad. Hey, Rabies, speak. <laughs> Oh my god! He's gonna rule this whole ravine someday. You be nice to May, okay, Rabies? 
I love him. You got any pets? Not really. You should get one. Well, we have that bird at home. I guess it's not May's bird, though. My dad has a bird. Yep. That's a garbage pet. <laughs> Says the bird. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want to be someone's pet. Tell me about it. So there's, like, weird stuff on the walls here. Ancient cave paintings. Not new, at least. What do you think it means? If you sleep here, you might drown. True, true. That's sad. Yeah, but it's sad enough that, like, it gets too weird to be sad. I guess. Just, like, sucks people are sleeping in here. Not like we don't got vacant buildings. It's dumb. There's, like... All kinds of secret places like this around town. There sure are. I'm like the only person to really map... Th hey, Rabies, what you got there? Oh my god! Is that a fiasco bar? You want me to unwrap that for you, guy? Holy effing crap! He is the best. You should take him home. No way, he'd pee all over everything. And dig a hole in the wall and live there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rabies is wild. Let him be wild. <laughs> ah, look, he's eating it! <laughs> Alright. See ya! And that was the experience that I could not record last time I did this. Yep, and that's why that journal entry. Nice. That is a nice hangout. I like that one. Okay, where was I going? Uh, I was gonna go see Salim, that's right. On the way there, since it's on the way, I should stop in at the Snack Falcon. And talk to Greg. See if he wants to smash light bulbs or do something else entirely. Let's see. I believe I have the option... Oh, hi. You're a new person. Do I know you? No. Oh. Aren't you Greg's cousin? You really look like his cousin. Not his cool cousin, Jen. Like, the other cousin? No. Who are you then? Why are you here? <laughs> I'm trying to find your city council. Town council. We're a town. Right. Why are you looking for them? Supposed to be demoing an infrastructure and municipal services management program. What? <laughs> Helps you manage things like snowplows and broken hydrants and stuff. Oh yeah, we have those sometimes. I just figured it'd be helpful. Dunno. Uh, I don't know. Lots of places are just scared of new things. Just want to keep the things they are, they are, uh, like they are forever, falling apart. It's frustrating. You're really into this, huh? That means my job, so... I had a job. I bagged groceries. Could you program something to make that job not suck? Well, soon it's all gonna be robots anyway, so... Jeez, yeah, huh. I got it! You're Donna's cousin! Who's Donna? Yeah! She used to babysit me. Oh wow, are you the kid that killed a bird with her mace? Oh, is that what happens? It was an accident, and I was like nine! Okay, no, this is not the, the high school incident. <laughs> I thought it was perfume or something. <laughs> I thought the bird would like it. <laughs> Yikes. Well, you were nine. It died like instantly. Just... Ah! <laughs> Dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well I'm gonna go. Good luck. Try not to kill anything. No promises. <laughs> hey, what's this building? I never paid attention to it before. I've never had a reason to stand in front of it for this long. Has a key on it. 1057. All barred up. Well, whatever it was, it's not anymore. Snack Falcon. There's no way I'm going to get through this whole day today. Seasonal snacks. I'll do town stuff and... Sup, kid? How's it snacking, Falcon? Just kicking it. Drank too much chocolate milk. And I was throwing up. When the light bulb delivery came, I had to sign for it while puking. <laughs> Jeez, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just flew too close to the sun. The chocolate milky sun. So what's up? Uh, so right, historical society is an option. I think I do want to do that to... Uh, no, false. I want to do that two nights from now. I have a plan. You up for smashing some light bulbs? Okay, so this is just a mini game I can play twice, basically. Which is cool, it was fun. I really want to see if I can hit the, like, bottles and cans and stuff. So, pure and good, that Greg throws at me back at him. So I'm watching for his different throwing animation. Ah, I missed it. Whoosh. <laughs> Got that one. Cathartic. 
Okay, I see you doing that. Ah, oh, I couldn't hit it. God damn it. She has a she has a bit of a wind up animation. Wah! Get it together, dude. Hey, I have it together. What are you talking about? I totally hit that one. I see you. Ah, I hit it back at you. Take that. Attack the bulb planet. Ugh, <laughs> uh, uh. Ah! The bat. Use the bat to hit with. How was I supposed to hit that one? You threw it way over my head. Throw better, Greg. This is your fault. Blow up the sun! <laughs> the things he says. Ah, I missed. That actually hurt. Alright, I'm ready for you. I think I got cut. <laughs> well, there are shards of glass everywhere and like mercury vapor and all sorts of terrible stuff because these are fluorescent tubes. Yeah, that's definitely a cut right by my ear. <laughs> and he's so happy about it. I see that. Oops, I tapped the triangle button. Oh my god, Greg, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> and that's the end of it. I didn't even get to smash the last light bulb. Huh. So what's up? <laughs> Alright, so that's just an activity I can do twice. Just saying hello. Cool. Right, so anyway, I have a plan. Over the following three days, let's see, how was it? What happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tonight, I get three choices. Tonight and two nights from now, I think I get a set, I get to do two of three choices. I can go to the Historical Society, I can go to the graveyard, and I can go to, what's it called, Possum Jump, the park with Angus. I went to the park last time first, and then, whoa, hi, you're new. And then the graveyard with B. Whoa, hi down there. Ahoy there, May. <laughs> Is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel? In the late afternoon? What are you doing home from school? I'm 20. Oh, that school, right. Uh, you answer first. It's my side hustle. Salvi salvage. What's that? I'm a junk man, eh? Are you not mowing lawns anymore? No, no, I'm still doing the landscaping, but I'm also a purveyor of fine goods for the discer discerning antique enthusiast. Okay, side hustle, yeah. You want to come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel? Gonna be a short trip today, but might be fun. Let's do it. Uh, sure. Uh, this probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take one of the kids over there. Hey teens, I'm going on this boat now. Just saying, like if anyone should ask. I got in this boat with Mr. Salvi here. Okay, thanks. <laughs> what was... Okay, let's go. She wants to make them very aware of when people go missing and stuff. Anyway, this is all new. And lots of folks from somewhere else di drive past. Between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove. And they like and they like going to antique shops out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something. And that's the side hustle. Wow. Do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here, we're coming up on one now. You'll see. Where is this? Is this like a whole underground water tunnel system that, like... This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit, look around, find something. Is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediment and rocks and junk. Haha, <laughs> you call it junk too. Uh, I'll look around a little bit. Um, oh no, I have a choice. Huh, big axe. Do I want a big garbage axe? Eh. Oh wow, it's a thing. A sled? Really bad boat? Maybe you, like, sleep in it? Tiny garbage hammock? Should I take this garbage bed? Let's not yet. Find anything good? Nah. Okay. Um, I want... Uh, I want this person to tell me what this object is. I do love me a mystery garbage object. I think it's like a... It looked kind of almost like a tennis racket. Find anything good? This thing... This garbage thing. Oh, that's a... It's like a really bad boat paddle? A very useless shield for fighting? It's a snowshoe. Oh. Never seen one before, I guess. Ideally, you should have two of them. Nah, I can, like, hop. <laughs> Snow hopper. 
Yes, it's a snow hopper. <laughs> Whoa, I can steer the light. And somehow he'd run over his own foot. No. With the mower. Ah! Apparently that's a thing that happens. Gotta be careful if you're like standing on wet grass on a hill. Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Oof. I can steer the light, but it doesn't do much of anything. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. Gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Already way ahead of you. Are we... Wait, why? We got bats down here. So? I don't like bats. But bats like bugs. And bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around them and get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. They mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready. We're coming up on a place they like to cluster get together. Okay, I got it. Here we go. Up above me. Um. Okay, I see. Oh, jeez, there's a whole bunch. Wow! Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure were a lot of them. I mean, the ones I saw left, but the only ones I saw were in the light, so how could I tell? Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, 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 no bats. Wow, you really don't like bats. No bats. All right, we're coming up on another island. Garbage ho! This is kind of involved. You gonna look around? No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. <laughs> You're sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to Studer's old hunting camp. You get anything? Ed Gress got a six-point buck. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. So I can't actually hang out on the boat. <laughs> got a schedule to keep, huh? Oh my god, it's a coconut monkey. Like the one granddad brought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend? It's kind of stinky and soft. I think I do want that, but I want to see what else is available. A tire? Holy shit, Dracula teeth! These are so rad, I could totally be a Dracula. Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth? Blah! Why do Dracula say blah? I'm going to put these in and find out. Should probably clean them first. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> okay. Do I want this coconut friend instead of these Dracula teeth? Yes. Welcome to the family, Mr. Monkey. I love you so much and we've just met. Could I switch back if I wanted? Yes. <laughs> Find anything good? Coconut monkey. Oh, wow. Is it still good? He's a little soft and he smells like trash water. But when he's all dried out, he's going to be a regular member of the family. Huh. All right. You're not going to steal him for your shop or anything, right? Uh, no. Not even tempted? I think I can let this one go, May. And that's how I saved Longest Night. <laughs> wow. Did you ever tell your kids? What? No, it'd spoil the magic. Did they ever notice your neck scar? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? No, oh, no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. <laughs> that I didn't really get to hear. <laughs> Alright, we're coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever, get the light ready. Shine it up there and get rid of him. Aye, aye, sir. Here they come. So a third playthrough thing would be to see what happens if I don't do anything with the bats. Whoa, that's a whole lot. Wow! Did most of them leave? I think so. I got them good. Whew. Thanks, kid. I'm 20! <laughs> well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude! Coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Though I ain't counted. Seem to find new ones all the time. I'd lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. This goes on for a while. 
Whoa, old Charlie Carr over here. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars. They were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy, like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. Oh, huh. Wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? It's a sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. <laughs> it's pretty, though. Do I want this thing? Not yet. It's gross and I don't care about sports anymore. <laughs> you did once. Oh, nice. Football, our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional. I could totally wear this in the winter in case I slip in the ice. I could wear this if I was in a fight. Could probably stop a bullet even. I don't know. I doubt that. It smells inside, though. Do I want this thing? Sure. It's functional. Uh, no, I want to know what this thing is. More than the very functional helmet. You could hang it on the wall. That'd be pretty neat. And then look up what it's even for. Cool, cool, cool. I'm more interested in mystery than functionality, apparently. <laughs> Find anything good? Check this out. Oh, wow, that's an old hockey pennant. I almost read peanut. <laughs> How old? Like, really old? Uh, 1970s? 80s? Oh, that's like medium old. We had a hockey team back then? Sure did. Ice Arena used to be out by where Ham Panther is now. Jeez, so much stuff used to be here. Lots still here. But yeah, lots gone. Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit back here, though. Unless you clear them off before you get here. Where even are we? Almost to the far platform. Oh wow, is that where we're going? Well, you got rid of most of the bats back there, so maybe we can make one last stop at the big one. Oh, so bat getting rid of performance determines whether I make this stop, I guess. The big one? I thank god I wasn't down here when the flood hit. The river chumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad. River just up and moved. Had something to do with the reservoir, too, I forget. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. Twenty-year-old. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. Hmm. All right, here we are. The big one. So is this like... Was this like a, a subway tunnel once, but it flooded and now it's just that way forever? I don't... I'm trying to figure out the lore of the, the tunnel and I just don't entirely get it. Or are, like, subterranean water tunnels a thing? Or are they, like, a thing in this world? I, I don't know. Wow, this looks like something I dreamed or something. It's familiar some ways. Back then, they thought the trolleys would stay on the track. Come a big flood. But nah, they went right along with the water. Okay, yeah, so it definitely flooded. They were not in the water. Trolleys. Hmm. I don't know. It's This is a weird place. Bobbing up and down, crashing into big piles like this. Jeez can't fix something like this. What are you going to do? Dam up the river? Dig this whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like visiting some place beyond the grave, like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh yeah. You going to go look around? Have to say, not much back this far usually. Most stuff washes in from side channels. Gets caught, caught up back from where we came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Oh man, the shapes. Is that something I can look at? Yes, it is. Wonder what this used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone bought this to keep something safe or secret. Do I want to take this? Yeah. This thing has, like, someone's intentions in it or something. It feels heavy. Someone should have it. But there's an instrument. Wow. Wonder if it still works. Should probably clean all the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? Even more than the lock? Yeah. <laughs> it's really pretty. It should have someone to appreciate it. It makes noise, even without clearing the mud out of it somehow. 
I'm not looking at that lock. Lock can stay. Whatever the instrument is can come with me. Find anything good? Horn. Looks like a pack horn, maybe? I'm going to clean it out. Maybe play it. Or at least make it make some noise. Good plan. It's real pretty. Shame to leave it down here. You rescued it. I'm a hero. I'll call the papers. So, okay, I have a feeling here. Seems like, so this is a special thing to come to. Here we are. Wow. Uh, yeah, okay, wait, no, this is something. A whole new place. Dude, this goes on. This is a huge uh, new activity. Uh, right, so, um, I had to clear out the bats, do well at that to get to the big thing, and May gets a new thing that made noise, a new instrument, so maybe she'll actually get to play it, or like, this is, this is going to do something since I've collected it. So that's it. That's the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years some archaeologists will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. You okay, May? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just gonna look for a minute. Take your time. I can't move, by the way. Okay, I think that's the end of that activity. Wow, that was something. <laughs> Junebug. Okay. Thanks for joining me. That was great. I could totally do this as a job. Oh no, a competitor! <laughs> I'm gonna get me a boat and go find some trash and sell it to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. You too. Good luck. Cool. That was Salvi. Right. Okay, so, wow, that took way longer than I expected. Um, I did want to try something here real quick. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. I thought of another thing I can do with the pretzels. I could steal one and then not give it to the rats. <laughs> it sounds kind of mean when I say it that way. But that's what I'm going to do. Just to see if anything happens. Stop. Uh, when I fed the rats when there were four of them, last time I got an achievement and some extra dialogue that indicated... Getting the hang of this. That indicated that that was what... Uh, made the infestation happen. Also, the next time I visited Mellard, the following day, the rats were all over there. Uh, not gonna talk to you... Well, I see, since you're here, I might as well. Um, he thinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap! I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. <laughs> um, right, so, uh, I think just if I don't feed them twice more, the infestation won't happen. So, uh, so I know what's up with that. Alright, so Liam's still there. I hear him. This is the last thing I'm gonna do before I stop. Just because it's a thing I started, so I want to finish it. And I'll do the rest of the day next time. Hey! Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Salim. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you going to give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. <laughs> cool. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Okay, yeah, so this dialogue rearranges itself. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the Click Clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was an, inter an interesting coincidence. Small town. Yeah, so basically Salim said what Sadie would have said there. But I want to check with her and see if I can talk to her again. I doubt it, but I want to check. Okay, boy, I've made a little bit of a mess of this. <laughs> Doing things in the wrong order and then, like, having to stop in the middle because an activity took forever. Uh, but that's fine. So remember, talk to Lori M... And check, right, Lori M, Angus, B, Mom, right, there's a whole activity to do with her yet. <laughs> Day 9 is a long one. Especially with the new stuff. Uh, right, up the stairs, pee off the roof, and go visit this building. Which, like, I have to do the, uh, can I go this way? I can stand on the sign. What the hell is a malt? Uh, not sure a single jump will get me there, so I'm going to do one of these. Wah! 
single jump would have gotten me there, I think. Also want to make sure I see the saving icon. I didn't see it there. Okay, no new dialogue options. Alright, so I just did that in the other order. Cool. Well, actually, now I'm curious. If I save and quit, where will it bring me back to? Does it only save after, like, major stuff, or will it remember I talked to Selene? I need to know this. If I continue... It is save and quit, so it should save then. Okay, so it saved me here on this screen. Got it. Cool. Okay, good stuff. Alright, uh, I'll see you next time for the rest of day 9.